This right there. We're back. Hey, all right. I think this is how we start the show. I know everybody wants the juice. Everybody wants the news. But we start with happy birthday, Tyler. Happy birthday. Yeah, it's Tyler. Mantis. It's Tyler Harmon's birthday on the Tuesday. Um, so big shout out to happy birthday, Tyler. Uh, I don't know how old he is. I can figure it out. I can do the math, though. 21, I think. He's got to be at least, at least over. I've seen him have a beer. A couple times, so he's got to be at least over 21. So, like, maybe 24? 24? Yeah. 24. He also has two kids. 28? Okay. He's born he's in 89. 89. Wow, wow. So, One that makes him 33? Yeah, 33. 33. Happy 33rd, Ty. Um, now, all right. Can everybody hear us? Is everything looking good? Does it sound good? Okay. Well, Man, we got we almost got 300 people in here right away. All right, we Wonder are what for. we are ripping right now. Is there news? Uh, see, <laughs> I think there is some news. Um, Kyle, you're gonna have to monitor these chats. Yeah, we've got giveaways. We've got uh, juicy news. We've got guests. Um, and the great thing about it, what I love about this episode specifically and all the news and all the stuff that's going on. Well, first, remember, we were like, uh, you know, there's no news mid-season. Like, yeah, right? yeah. Because we, we were talking about doing that, doing like a, like a weekly kind of like if there's something that pops up, we jump on the on the show and be like, we got the news. Um, we're like, nah, let's not put any time or effort into that. There's no mm -hmm. news mid-season. Yeah. Um, but we got a special guest today that... Um, <laughs> uh, that actually isn't even in the tournament scene, but he knows what's up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he might give you a run for money on social media. The, 100%. Um, that's actually, what, I mean. That's going to be I, a good debate. Yeah, it is going to be. It's not even a debate, I don't think. So, um, anyway, we're, we're excited to get uh, to Wolf for, to join us uh, from the Wolf's Den out of Canada. So, he's uh, he's waiting. He's not in the green room no. like Nick Sloviak usually is, uh, which is, which doubles as the bathroom. Uh, but no, he's, uh, he's going to come back on the, uh, he's going to come on the, uh, the, uh, iPad as well. But, um, okay. We've got a ton of stuff. Also, we were actually trying to get Fedorov on the show as well. Um, we wanted to get Fedorov on the show for a little bit, but he was practicing late tonight. He's got practice and I, night tonight. Yeah. I think he might, I don't know if there was like a little bit of confusion or maybe cause it's like really hot out there. Maybe he's practicing late. He kept mm -hmm. saying he had practice and I was like, well, it's the show's on it. 4 p.m. Pacific, 
and you're in you're in Texas, so that's like six o'clock. Maybe we call you at six thirty. He's like, No, I already have practice scheduled, but maybe after practice. And I was like, Or another time. I just don't think he knew that it was a live show. He must not be a oh, fan of the oh. Spick and Span show. Because mm. he's like, Maybe we just do it another time. And I was like, Yeah. He must have thought we were those play the game guys, mm-hmm, which kind of mm-hmm. set you up at like six p.m., at ten p.m., at five a.m. You know, uh, and then record it. That's not how it goes down here. Um, so uh, so anyway, we want to get Federoff on because he's he's got uh, he's got some really well he's doing something really ni- uh, great right now. He's uh, which you know we're we're big supporters of all uh, charity drives and, and initiatives like that. Uh, but he is, uh, he's doing something to help his, uh, his fellow Ukrainians right now. As a matter of fact, he's actually Russian. His wife is Ukrainian and, uh, and he's doing something. He was, he actually, uh, lived in, in Kiev, uh, up until just recently. Wow. So, um, right now, if you, if you go onto his Instagram page, I believe we- weapons is doing something where the proceeds from the sales of the shirts will go to, uh, uh, straight over to his uh, his where he lives basically and, and kind of helping out the people out there uh, as well as the HK jerseys that he's selling I believe um, do have uh, a benefit as well over there so we kind of wanted to get him in here talking about that but but we've got all sorts of other good stuff going on anyway plus uh, I'm we've also we've been talking about getting Wolf on the show it was actually news to Wolf I, I actually texted him yesterday because I forgot to text him over the weekend what was news well, news to him because we've been talking. We talked uh-huh. about getting Wolf on the show like two weeks ago. Oh yeah, yeah. We wanted to get him in here and uh, and talking about uh, his side of of paintball, which I which I'm I'm a huge fan of. That's what I'm a huge fan of. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and then yes, thank you, Eric for asking this question. Harris completely bitched out, straight up. He didn't even. It was a no call, no show. Uh, he heard Oliver was actually gonna be there, and. Uh, then he bitched out. Hmm. He's like, oh, I'm for sure going. Because um, Harris still qualifies as semi-pro. So he's going to play in the WCPPL event next weekend. And uh, and then when Oliver challenged him. I don't have a Planet Eclipse contract. Just FYI. Someone said that. <laughs> oh, what was the question? It said that I have a Planet Eclipse contract. For what? For paintball. Nah. Yeah. Thanks, Meter. Thank you for the shirt. Yeah, Meter. Um, we need nice to get him Astra on, uh, shirt. On I got my Astra shirt right here, actually. Yeah. I was uh, unpacking it for my surf trip for sure, the tie dye mm-hmm. one. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to. to you guys got to get one. one of these. They're nice quality. Yeah, high quality, high quality. Um, and then uh, yeah. So we're 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 really excited about uh, about talking to him here shortly. Um, then uh, let's see here. So yeah, the Harrison Ollie. Thing did not go down. Actually, Oliver, I think, is leaving town today or tomorrow. I actually asked him if he wanted to play mm-hmm. on Sunday. Yeah. And then I got a message from him like, I'm in Oceanside. Yeah, that's where what are you mean. doing. And I was like, well, I'm <laughs> playing paintball. <laughs> yeah. I was coaching, but then I ran drills after. Okay. Yeah. It's been a long day at the field. Uh, I did see he just picked up some, some gear, though. Um, more, uh, yeah, more I did luggage. see that too. You got some luggage. Yeah, you got some luggage. So I don't know, um, but I do know one thing, and that's that Harris did not show up. Mm. Yeah, he was talking the game. That's his deal. Talking the game, didn't show up. So Damien asked if I'm gonna go with this wannabe surfer. I think he's talking about you. Where? Uh, on your surf trip. He might just be a little bit behind on the. He might like, not live. He might not be live. No, he's uh, he's been in here since the show started. He's been oh, okay. in here since like since like three three fifteen, okay. waiting for the show to start. <laughs> I think what you meant by a little behind is he's kind of just a little behind in the, uh, in the process of understanding. Uh, things. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Damien, I um not totally sure what that meant, but um, maybe we'll get you on here one day. Maybe we'll get you on one day. Uh, also, I saw Damien this weekend too. I tried to get. Uh, was he playing? Yeah. Good. Guy needs some practice. <laughs> <laughs> um he's special he's just special guys um oh ollie was uh ollie said that harris flaking was his breaking point oh um also perchak's actually in town i tried to get him to come on the show too he flew into town this morning but he's playing golf he's mm. coming out here for his for his weekly uh his, his yearly golf trip up at uh tory pines with his family I tried to get him on the show but he said that 
he wasn't sure how long the the, the round was going to take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounded like a bunch of excuses to me. <laughs> excuses. I even said that the Spick and Span show would cover his Uber on the way over here. Wow. Yeah, he'd have to walk home, but he can cover. We we get him. He would get him here. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I wanted to actually talk with Kyle before the show to figure out what was going down because I don't know what the news is. Uh, I mean, I know what the news is because I kind of heard about it yesterday, and I just did my hardest, tried my hardest not to text everybody in the in the mega support status group exactly what was going down. But uh, yeah, shout out, shout out to Jason Bibb. Let's uh, we haven't hit the air horn yet. Uh, let's uh, let's let's. I don't know what. Um, I heard I will some have some. I will news. have some Latin Saints jersey. So go ahead and yeah, if you hit guys, me in the DM. <laughs> if you guys need a Latin Saints jersey, yeah, I might not um, be needing those anymore. Uh, uh, what does it say? What do you say? Say vende the yeah. Latin Saints jerseys yeah. right now. So yeah, it's it uh, it appears as though, um, you know, things were just a little a little bit more pricey than he expected, than someone expected, even though he kind of set the budget. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I saw I saw the analogy of uh, he bought a Lamborghini but couldn't yeah, afford the I gas. Mean, I'll give the the whole story here. We're gonna have to bump these likes up though. We got 360 yeah, people in here. Come on, Only let's go, guys. Gonna hit the, have to hit these likes. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into the, uh, the the juice here. There we go. There's now we're ramped up on the like system here. Now we're ramped up. There we go. Um, so well, yeah. I mean, obviously this is a this is a tricky tricky situation for. For Kyle, yeah, and everybody yeah. on the team, you know, it's uh, frustrating. Frustrating is a, is a good way of, of putting it, but frustrating, sad, depressing, all of the all of the above. Um, so you just get right into it. Well, I guess so. Going back where this all kind of started, uh, J. Rab was the first person to basically break the the news and and (laughs) head out um but as far as like i see i see a lot of rumors going around that we didn't get like we just didn't get paid which in you know in management's defense we did actually get money um and we got a lot of people got substantial amounts of money uh just for playing one event so there was that um that was like fulfilled um there are a couple guys on the team um that unfortunately were like the first guys that signed that kind of got a little bit of the short end of the stick and didn't really get much of their money at all um or to my knowledge even uh, some of the expenses that they paid for on their own paid back to them as far as flights, um, whatnot. So, uh, as we, you know, we were supposed to get monthly installments, um, and those were not given to us, uh, what are we in May? Uh, April and May, um, and I think a little bit before that. So that's when we started to kind of get a little bit worried about, um, you know what was going on and if you know we were getting told that it was coming it was coming it was coming and we kind of were being patient for a while um and then it got to the point as we were getting leading up into the dallas event um to where we like should start planning and and uh getting a practice together and then going to the event and guys were still owed uh money so as a team, we kind of said well, we're not we're not going to play, um, and also Brandon Short had to uh, he had kids on the way. Oh, congrats to be short! He had hey, two congratulations, Brandon Short! Beautiful twin babies. Um, so congrats to him. He wasn't going to be able to make the event, so we just decided to opt out of that um, because uh, almost like an you know an, uh, like a strike basically. Um, so. We didn't get that. That didn't happen. Then we're waiting a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Um, and J. Rab had kind of had enough. He put his foot down. He said, um, "If I don't get paid by a certain date, uh, I'm gone. I'm leaving." That wasn't fulfilled. Um, but he was told that he could, you know, if he waited a couple more days, it would be there, 
waited a couple more days. It wasn't there. So, um, you know, I, I don't I don't think Jay Rab was in the wrong. Um, and he was the first one to basically say, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Let the team chat, everything, mm -hmm. as, as, you know, Ryan said. Last as week. I heard, it was, you know, one of those allegedly. allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but allegedly, so I, I, guess right. I, I guess it was true. So good, good call. Good guess on good that. Good guess on that, huh? Um, good guess on that. And then uh, Mouse shortly after. Uh, and then, you know, like I said last weekend, I was pretty up to date on, on payment um, besides this month. So I was okay with waiting a little bit longer to see if something was salvaged as far as payments and, you know, trying to, I think at that moment, you know, Mouse was still kind of on the, on the cusp um, of what was going on. So we waited, we waited, we waited. And um, I was told yesterday by a teammate that uh, basically the towel was thrown in by management and the team was done. I haven't heard it directly from management, but um, I I think it's safe to assume uh, safe to assume that the team is done. So, um, well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll tell you what as far as loyalty is uh, stance. I mean, you you you've done a, a really good job, um, and you guys, uh, et cetera, et cetera. That's yeah, um, and uh, definitely very politically correct. It's almost like, uh, you know, when you're not saying the, any of the wrong things. And it's smart. Uh, good for J-Rab, I'd say, right now. Just for, like, it's got. there's got to be someone who, who breaks, right? Mm -hmm. There's got to be someone who makes the decision. Now, that's also in his best interest to, to jump ship in order to secure his the best deal that he can get wherever yes, it's going to yeah. be. Um, and it allowed him to kind of shop around and it was a little, a little lousy for, for you and the rest of the guys in case there was something that was still going to be able to materialize. Uh, um, what about uh, Ray Ray in here just asked, uh, I mean, do you regret it? No. Right. Cause you still, I mean, yeah, you, you guys, you guys had a, a, a great, well, I don't want to call it a run. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah. I I'm not gonna disclose the other guys' amount that they they got. Um, but like I said, it was uh, it was a decent amount of money um, for most of the guys what they got for one event. Um, besides, you know, the situation I had uh, agreed upon with Mouse um, for extra money from him, I got from the Latin Saints. Uh, 20 uh, i don't know what a rod's calling me he knows, <laughs> he knows i'm in the show maybe he's he's like maybe he's telling me, back on yeah yeah um uh i got i got twenty three thousand dollars so uh, there's a good one yeah um so that's twenty three thousand more than i got yeah I'll tell you that um but, i got a bill and a headache <laughs> um yeah that's the thing is like regrets it's like yes or no it's it's such a hard thing i mean still got mo a lot of the guys still got a fantastic uh well maybe uh, we'll have more you know. news here um <laughs> what's happening i don't know oh wow dude keep oh yeah no. <laughs> we might have some more news we're gonna have some new more maybe news. yeah maybe yeah. Uh, what do you call that what is it uh, a change, change of events it's a possible so, change of events we'll here. see we keep it we keep it juicy over here yeah so, yeah you keep it on the download move yeah screen. yeah I might, I might have to um, might have to allegedly say something so i forgot what what else i was gonna say about this because <laughs> so just... there's been a lot of stuff going on and and here is the one thing is uh you know it, it has been incredibly stressful uh for kyle it's very stressful for me because kyle's been texting me like what do i do what's going on what's of this that and i'm like i don't know man um and, uh, well, yeah, and that's another good question, Kyle. I mean, a lot of people want to know. Uh... <laughs> oh, boy. Um, you know, and, and here's another thing, right? I don't know management's uh, mindset. I don't know their budget, their billfold. Or any of that stuff. I don't know if a budget's ever had to be created by management before. 
But, um, you know, you you, uh, you definitely, because we talked about this too, as far as like a budget of a pro team is can vary anywhere from, you know, some of the lower teams or some of the newer teams rather might be paying for airfare and uh, hotels. You, you know, I don't know if any pros are paying for a comp, like uh, uh, the entrance fee and whatnot. But as you get up higher in the ranks and the sponsorship dollars do come in, you, you know that teams and players are paying guys uh, and... You know, you can run a team, and this is, I'm saying this, uh, uh, <laughs> you all right over there? Yeah. I just, Kyle, are you sweating? It's crazy. <laughs> uh, you can run a team, a, a, a successful team, a, a slightly successful team, like a top, uh, like a maybe t uh, 15 to, to top five, kind of top 10 team, um, for around $100,000. And that's it, assuming that a handful of your guys are local. Now, I don't know about nowadays with the with plane tickets to Philly being thirteen hundred dollars from the West Coast, but as of last year, you could run a team, and that's not with paying high high profile players. Um, so uh, so yeah, that's where you that's like the the benchmark, right? That's where you start, and that's not including travel practices. Like I would say that that X Factor is a top uh, well not this year, but generally a top five team, and most of their guys are local. And if they're not paying, if if you exclude the the budget that they use to on their actual players, they could probably get by under a hundred thousand dollars because they pra all their practices are at their local park. You know the paint is covered, and that I'm sorry, that's not including paint by the way. That's just that's just getting a group of players to five events sure. around the nation and two weekends of practice before each event. Um, and so they're, they're a great ex example because they practice most of their events right there you know you go to a team like houston heat without paying their guys and in, in, in impact without paying their players they're well over that hundred thousand dollar mark because they have to fly every single team player in get accommodations yeah uh, uh every single event so that that bumps all that up plus they're staying at like hilton's we're staying at like comfort inns uh <laughs> and so you know that's also another thing and 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 even damage is another great example. All their guys are, are local or pretty much all their guys are local. Uh, so, you know, that goes to show what you can do with a limited budget. Now, again, putting a team like the Latin saints, you got, uh, you got every guy's from a different area. So they have to fly into uh, fly, Everybody's got to fly into a spot. If you don't have any knowledge on what that does. And I mean, you've kind of managed the teams before, but I'm sure they weren't like, Hey Kyle, you want all this money? And uh, how much does it cost to run a team? Because that's obviously going to be a little bit of a red flag yeah. <laughs> when you're when you're spending the loot. Um, but I do believe I heard that uh, that he did have help from sponsors um, who really went uh, to bat for the management of the Latin Saints in order to make sure that they felt comfortable fielding a team uh, of of high caliber players and spending that money. So that's where it gets a little bit more, um, you know, not, not only did it, did it let down in, uh, the players who got kind of burned, but it also let down a lot of the sponsors. And I think Meter said this, I don't know if he said it to us, or maybe it was when we were uh, all out there, he was on the show. He's like, man, I really hope that, that this works out well, because you don't want the success story to crash and f crash and burn. Sure. Right. Cause then you're like, Oh, great. Happened to us again. Like here goes yeah. paintball again. Yeah. Um, and it's just such a such a, a a bummer on that on that respect when, man, it was one event. You already spent. It's that's the other thing, you know, like, you know, when you're at, I don't know, the casino or or you're out like you're out to eat. Yeah. And your bill's like kind of expensive, and you're like, add, yeah, add another appetizer. Like, why not? What's another? What's another ten bucks at this yeah. point? You know. Yeah. Uh, you just add another zero, couple zeros onto that, and it's it. What I want to say, let's just uh, like just kind of sketch out some numbers of of what he kind of was paying i would say he probably spent already uh almost two hundred thousand dollars one hundred fifty thousand dollars. what's another event yeah you know like what's yeah. another event yeah uh just it's another event now this is where because i talked to tom cole about it and i talked to you briefly about it yesterday is like so what happens with the spot yeah I mean that's that's Who knows? I guess the next bit of news that will and, that's and, gonna come and that out. was actually a funny thing is you said I don't know is there like a pink slip for these yeah, things yeah, <laughs> like, like what, how do you who owns the spot ownership you know yeah yeah um so I don't know and and then uh Silos is on damage already right uh I don't know that for sure 
I, I saw Celos in here, so maybe in where? In, in the comments. Oh yeah, yeah Celos, are you playing? What's what's happening? Who's on your guys' team again? So there's Corey. Corey. Okay. A -Rod. Corey, you, A Rod. I wrote you right okay, there. Yeah. Okay. Celos. Celos. Um, like still or who was <laughs> still? Mouse, I, mouse, J I got Mouse yeah. and J Rod. They're okay, gone. Okay. <laughs> I saw that was that was, um, that was Instagram official. And then uh, Latin guys. Oh, okay. So how many of them them are there? There was there were five of them. Five, right? five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What, has anybody talked to those guys? They uh, they didn't know what was going on. With the, <laughs> I, to my knowledge, I, I didn't talk to them. I don't know. If, oh man. So um, now here's the thing: if they do not field a team, if there is no Latin Saints team at the next event, I believe. The spot is forfeited, forfeited, right? And it would probably go to a semi-pro team, but this is where it gets tricky, right? So now the team... Does it go back? To, it gets well, so given here, back to the NXL to decide what they want to do with it? I don't or? know. I think so. And, it, and here's the here's the strange thing, and this is where it gets a little a little convoluted because if the, if you, if the Saints, I don't want to say you guys, if the Saints don't field a team, okay, then that, that spot essentially just kind of go... Uh, <laughs> okay all right i guess it's uh oh it's the 17th i guess it was payday and then maybe someone has more money now mm, just um so if the saints don't la if the latin saints of some form right if a new team doesn't acquire them if the team doesn't show up then that spot is now forfeit but here's what sucks okay imagine being the last and if they if they just bring up the next lowest place team so say blast camp or whoever's first in first place right now if they come up into that spot then do they get a buy into the next season right because they're going to start with they're going to start i guess with second would they wouldn't or would they get the second place points so that means they get a guarantee into the next season or uh or, or does it does it go to a i, I don't understand what would happen because i would be pretty upset if i were the bottom ranked team if i were the iron man of the dmg now that could change. Tom probably has right a, now. a wheel of names of potential teams, and then he spins it. We should have him do that live here. Yeah. Because we've got yeah. the technology, as long as everybody and it's, knows. And, it, and to add into it, it's it's Cutthroat City, so if the team's not live watching, they don't get the spot. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text Tom right now, yeah. uh, here in a second, actually, and I'm going to tell him that we've got the, the idea. We should just do a, a like an impromptu uh, wheel spin of like of all the teams yeah the and just see who would, teams. Who, would, who would get it yeah um but if someone buys it so you right here actually the spick and span show we would have to get a few more donations i would think on the show but the spick and span show could technically buy the latin saints we should buy we should uh, we should put a bit in span what do we got team. we got a buck 50 right and now you guys and the subscribers can play on the team i like that that's a good idea i like that would we'll spin the wheel before yeah. every event yeah the 10 names that come now on we're talking and then you 10 players get to go out there and field a team what do we play, think about that? If let's you get play a, let's, one, what do you guys think of that? If you played one, like if you're like D four and you play one pro, do it doesn't you get, count. I don't it doesn't think. count, right? I so think you, you get one. You get one. Freebie. One so mulligan. Like, yeah, you get a mulligan, so it doesn't really affect your status. There we go. Yeah. So you could play one event. Yeah, you know, we could then... do it. We could set it up, kind of like uh, the Green Bay Packers. And everybody who's a Spick and Spam member gets. Text Diego. Uh, tell him if we'll take one hundred fifty one ninety five for the for the team name, and we will take it. We'll <laughs> take it from there. Yeah. The, Our we'll, donations the, for the day. The donations for the day. We'll take it from there. We'll spin spin ten names. Uh, the week of the layout drop. Okay, that's another ten. Okay, one sixty one ninety five yeah, is the going rate for the Latin Saints. Stephen, right, Stephen, welcome to the thanks, team. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> right now we got Derek Weagle, well, Stephen, and get that jersey. Uh, on. Paul H. Hey, get that jersey ready. Yeah. Steven How Robbins. much for the spot? So what size? Yeah. Size and number. So I've had this conversation with people a lot um, over the over the years. How much for the spot? Uh, and I actually just had the conversation not with about the PayPal thing, but about some other business stuff with my accountant today. The spot's worth whatever someone's gonna pay for it. <laughs> I like that, that. price. Yeah. That price fluctuates slightly. We're ex we're we're uh, two weeks two weeks and a day away from the layout drop. So in exactly two weeks and one day, that price goes down substantially because the the it, it, it changes quite a bit. Hmm. So um, I believe they paid fifty thousand for it. Yeah, but think it was, think it was wrong I there. don't think that you need to pay that much at this point. But again, what does it mean to you? Because you do get you do get 
with that, you do get the second place points, and therefore you're gonna be able to uh, to get. Um, you'll probably get to be able to play a whole season pro, and then still retain your spot even if you lose the rest of the events mm. dead last. Because second place points are pretty big points. Yeah. So I haven't done the math on it, but I, I'm I'm fairly. No, certain I think uh, like if that. we like say, you know, we wanted to keep the spot, um, but it wasn't the original team. I think that all that the that. That slot, whether you know it's kept by the current management or given to another team, all they have to do is show up to the, the remaining events, and they still have that spot secured for next year. Um, I see a lot of people saying, "Where, where am I going to go? Where, like, where? What do you? Where do you guys think? Well, where should I go? Where should you go? I know you've been talking to some teams. Let's talk about that when we get uh, Alex on at the end of the show because okay. we're gonna call we're gonna we're going to call Wolf right now because I do actually, he's been following this and I'm excited to talk to him about a couple oh, Wolf different has. things. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, oh, this is, you got a lot of news to talk about. So we're going to get a, a, a longtime friend actually now at this point um, and, uh, and an avid paintball player on the show here. Um, I hope, I hope, I think. Is he there? Are you listening? I haven't seen him in the chat. Maybe he forgot. He might have forgotten. No, I did see him in the chat. I saw him in the chat earlier. <laughs> I saw him in the chat earlier. So um, I know Wolf loves his TikTok, so maybe he's just he might be running TikTok-ing. a quick upload. He might uh, He might be uploading right now. Uh, let me know when you're free. I did say, I'm pretty sure I told him about the FaceTime, the FaceTime gig, the high tech that we got here in the show yeah he's, he's running the uh canada time is like 34 hours ahead um yeah so anyway why don't you guys drop a comment in there when you where you think or where you think he should go um and, and look i'll tell you this if the saints were to continue at this current course where mm-hmm. you're at right now with the team that you have i still feel you'd be very successful with uh a rod cory you and the Latin guys, mm-hmm. because those Latin guys were playing pretty well. Uh, the real question is, is Short even going to be available for the next event? Uh, I, I believe so. I think that he planned everything out, and it's went according to oh. plan. Healthy babies, uh, the timing was perfect, everything. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now we're ready. The lighting, a lighting issue, I would say. It's called a lighting issue. So, um, oh, there he is. Hey. All right, there he is, my man. Good. Dude, Wolf, what up? I know you said it was like informal, but I didn't know you were like calling on the phone and stuff. I thought we were gonna like zooming it up and everything. Nah, nah, nah. The zoom, the zoom plugin and uh, and linking it together, it just takes a lot of. T- it's just a lot more time. This right here is is way more fun. You know, you get to see what we're doing. You get to see how messy my <laughs> how messy my garage is. Uh, and as a reminder, most people when we call them on Facetime don't rec- don't realize that we are live. Um, so just uh, so you know, we are live. And um, we so we started doing this uh, little Facetime box call kind of randomly. And then everybody on the show was like, "Dude, I love it. Why do this little split screen thing when you can just why why pay for the extra tech if it's uh oh, why hey why not." Let me yeah. scoot this over this we way. We the money. We don't the money. Latin yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. So just as a just as an intro, real quick, in case nobody knows who Wolf is, Wolf's probably the most prolific, the most popular for sure, uh, scenario paintball player around. Uh, and we were just talking about it before, Wolf. I don't know if you were listening, but he uh, uh, can give. I, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure he. You do the most social media content out of any paintball player, and that's including Marky. <laughs> You are you are yeah, on your um, game. I think me and Mark are almost at that same level. Um, the only difference is like I don't sell paintball gear and stuff, so it's like I do this as an individual type of thing, where uh-huh. he does it as a company. Uh huh. So it's a it's a whole different playbook, right? So I've been you know I've been doing this. I've been playing since '96. Damn, and dude, Tyler. On... Tyler was. Uh... Oh no, no, okay, '96. I was thinking '89. I was six. Oh, you trying? Yeah. I was trying, trying to age me out. I was trying. Well, I I mean, I would age you out except you're incredibly uh active on TikTok, which I <laughs> which I was under the impression was for 15-year-olds. But 
<laughs> you've got view, you've got videos on there with like millions of views. So I I mean yeah. I, I'm what do I know? What do I know? Well, it's it, it's crazy, you know, because um I and I tried to bring you into that world, but you you know you're hectic as it is. <laughs> he goes, you got to get TikTok, man. I go, that's where I draw the line, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Wolf and I, Wolf and I get to when we met at Clowns vs Zombies in uh, in Chicago. Um, yeah, uh, which, that was a while ago. Yeah, which but like in I don't know maybe five years ago or more. And then every year we get to play together out there. Uh, and it's uh, it's that's I mean I love big games. So you're actually luckier than I am to a certain extent because you get to just travel around and play these big games. Uh, yeah, and it's it's it just, it's a whole different experience. You know what I mean? And it's like I keep telling people. Um, if you really love paintball, you appreciate both sides of the sport, right? Because uh, I know whenever I play with you and I play, you know, uh, with J-Rab and all those other guys and Marky and, and mm -hmm. Lang, um, you, know, you guys have ridiculous amounts of fun when you play. Oh, yeah. And it's always, it's involved because, you know, it, you get to, I get to see you guys relax and chill and just go out and have fun with it, right? So even though when we play, we're still trying to win, it's still intense and mm -hmm. but it's still like jokes like we have a lot of fun and and like it, we're cracking up in the the, the room and stuff and it, it's a, it's really exciting to play yeah so how funny is this kyle uh up until when he played with us had never played in the woods before and he hates no way he hates playing in the woods <laughs> really why because he's, well, he, no. he's scared of uh he's scared of bugs i no that's not it <laughs> I actually realized this weekend at the HK Streetball why I don't love playing uh, like scenario type big games because this weekend we played on like a gravel scenario field and someone's like, "Yeah, are you gonna like, are you gonna go like full throttle?" And I was like, "Uh, no, I'll probably take it easy." But like once the game starts, I kind of only have like yeah, one mode yourself. and I just sprinted to like a fifty yard line and dove. And just destroyed yeah. my knee on a bunch of rocks, and I'm like, "That's uh, that." Yeah. that I, I remember. I start to remember why. Um, we don't dive in the woods, brother. There's too many tree stumps. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he's <laughs> got like the, he's got the big tactical stuff, and like you're 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 fitted up, yeah. dude. He your gear it has to weigh. How much does your stuff weigh? Because I know I know for a fact that you've weighed yourself with your gear on and without. Because I've seen your I don't know if that ba it's your basement or wherever that workout room is. Yeah. Let's hear how, how, how um, heavy is your kit? Um, my gun, when it's loaded with uh, paintballs with the box mag, I think that weighs at about close to 20 pounds. Yeah, that thing's... And then my ridiculous. tactical vest when it, with all the air tank and all the pods and stuff, that weighs another 30, 35 or so. So it's, it's you know, it's it, it's it, it can be intense. It, it's a full body workout. It's a whole you know. It's a whole thing. That's why I train and stuff. Even though I, I make the weird funny videos on you know TikTok and stuff, like I, I do that stuff because <laughs> that's it's Kyle's a favorite full body workout. Kyle's favorite video like, of all time in paintball is the one yeah. with you running on the treadmill with yeah, all your gear. That's a great one. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not. A, it's smart. It, it, it's it's funny because. Um, I bring in like I, when I do stuff like that, I'll get like the next day thirty thousand emails of people asking me where can I play paintball, and it's like it, it just looks like people don't know. People see the, the speedball side of it, mm -hmm. which is dope and everything, but when they see how advanced the woods ball side of it has come with the different mag fed markers and the the, the first strike sniper rounds and all that stuff, they're like, hey, I, I this is Call of Duty right here. I can you know this is something I can get into. You know what I mean? So if you're not into one. It brings in the whole other side about it, and uh, it's you know it's really fun. And but it's it, at the same time, it's like I talk to woods ballers about guys who play tournament because they sometimes don't appreciate what you guys do, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll tell them like these guys are legit at what they do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like oh by the way, the, my TikTok Stephen is at Wolf Paintball, so you'll find that on my Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and everything. Thank you for asking. <laughs> but again, um, one of the stories I like to tell when I do interviews and stuff is that um, one of my best, coolest experiences is, is way back when, I, I'm not sure if it was the first time we met, but um, Ollie and Ryan were doing a clinic at Paintball Explosion when they had the indoor field. Uh -huh. And uh, and I've never, I've never seen a 
a tournament clinic before. I've never seen a speedball clinic before. We've always kept it in the woods and all tactical and all that stuff. And it's like, so I said, hey, can I film you guys just for the heck of it and show people? And they go, yeah, yeah, man, come on, come down and see. And so I started watching, and I realized that I'm learning stuff. Uh-huh. And at that point, I was already playing, like, you know, close to 20 years and stuff, and I was, like, learning stuff that I could adapt to the wood side of it. You know what I mean? And you were teaching kids how to run and move and get behind bunkers and how to shoot at a specific spot behind a bunker. And I was like, I was like, that, that really gave me even a more of an appreciate, appreciation towards the tournament side of paintball. And I was like, okay, these guys know their stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, it translates across. And I mean, we started playing in the woods. There's, there's obviously a lot of things. And like Kyle said, you can, it's hard to turn off the, the tournament side of things when you're when you're playing in the in the woods yeah or i mean unless especially... you're like riding dinosaurs it's, you know <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah i wrote I, I had an inflatable one of those inflatable dinosaurs uh-huh. uh that i played in uh, out there because the, the event like is like alien, a halloween. alien halloween exactly yeah, like yeah. that yeah so i was riding this dinosaur <laughs> and it actually was kind of cool because it acted as a bunker so it I, was like, I was like, oh, I was yeah, like holding it, like you hold it tight so it inflate a little yeah. bit more, and I was playing behind it. That's a good idea. Uh, it was clever. Yeah, it was a little, a little difficult to move around and extremely hot, even though it had that fan. It was extremely <laughs> hot in there. Um, Wolf, what do, well, what do yeah, you, uh, what do you think it takes to be top level paintball player? Um, practice and skill, just like any other sport. Um, it's it's you know, and dedication to the game, of course, but. Like I, I, it's it's hard to judge when it comes to uh, woods ball because you know we don't keep track of statistics and all that stuff and everything, but you can see you know you get out there and when if I'm playing in a you know if I'm playing in a game with a thousand people and the, you know the generals are on radio and they're communicating with people and you're seeing guys doing special missions and everything, it takes a lot because one of the big differences between what you do and what I do is that. Uh, when I play a game, I go out in the field and, you know, we stay out there for, you know, between 20 minutes to 45 minutes, just crawling through the muck just to get one kill sometimes. <laughs> and then, whereas in tournament, you know, you play your round, you come off, you get your paws back, you go back out again type of thing, right? So we, I'll go out there with, that's why I wear the big tactical gear and everything. It's not just for looks like I have a water camelback on me. I've got the air, extra air. I've got extra kit ammo i've got radio and radio earbuds and all that stuff keep me out in the bush as long as possible right so i can accomplish as many missions as Mm. i can so Mm. it's a whole different training system when it comes to it but what makes you know what makes you a good player is just that dedication and an ability to go and take bunkers maybe inflatable ones or bases pull those flags or hit that buzzer and just know the field good enough to get through that Hey Wolf, do you? Uh, ha- I mean, I I know you 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 must have you've played on an airball tournament field before, yeah? No, never. No. So I've never done it. I've never done a speedball game. No way. So I. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That well, that's crazy, and that I, I guess it kind of makes sense to a certain extent because I remember. So you're sponsored by Die, uh, uh, as I can tell yeah. from your your uh, your yeah. sweatshirt, but. I don't know what event it was, uh, maybe not last year, but I think two years ago, you came and you did a little, um, you did a little post on your on one of your social media things. It was like, all right, everybody, which equipment should I use? Should I use my my die mag fed something, or should I use this yep. uh, my DM something like that? Um, the M three, yeah. Um, and uh, and they all said to use the your your M three, and you were so nervous about it. Because you're like, I don't know about this speedball gun. I don't know about this speedball yeah. gun. And that yeah, was yeah. that was funny. Um, it's it, a whole different thing. But hey, the same thing with you when you went in that MagFed tournament, right? D- let's let's like, talk about that, huh? MagFed yeah. pistol champ of the wow. world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 that we learn and adapt, and it's like that's what it comes down to the core values and the core skill system, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like it, it's it's. I, they asked me to use the, the speedball marker and I'm used to my MagFed stuff. And I go, okay, all right. And it, it was like cheating. It was so light. It's so easy to shoot. <laughs> I know. And people and complain like, that our oh force is too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we got you. It was like, dude, and I went 
through paint like nothing. Like mm-hmm. I can see why you guys are going through pot after pot after pot. Mm-hmm. Cause I was mm-hmm. just, I was like, it was like, it was, it was like cheating. So it just it didn't feel right. I'm, I'm in it for the, the, the Milsom looking stuff. And I love the whole tactical stuff, but I can appreciate that side of it too. But, um, again, I, I got the, I don't, I don't know if Ryan's told this story, but one of the, I, I, a very cool experience because I keep telling people when you're good at paintball, you're usually good at both sides of it mm-hmm. just because of the, the, the basic knowledge you need to play the game. And, uh, they were having a mag fed tournament, uh, at, um, paintball explosion one time. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, it, it was just for pistols. It was a challenge. You go like, it was like a four, one V one type of scenario. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, here comes this guy, you know, this guy, this big hotshot, Ryan Greenspan from the speedball world. And, you know, a couple of guys were rolling their eyes. And they almost oh, this guy. This guy's used to spraying and praying with 200 plus paintballs and everything like this. And I go, careful, careful, this guy's good. <laughs> and, you know, they're underestimating him. And uh, so he gets, he borrows a uh, TPX pistol from someone. I don't know. I'm sure. I hope this doesn't bug your sponsors or anything. It's okay. I, he, I also am an it, owner in the company, so we're gonna well, we'll, uh, let, we'll <laughs> let it. Hey, we'll let it pass. <laughs> so Ryan borrows a TPX pistol from someone. Didn't even know how to use it. He goes, "Okay, how do you load the mag? What do you do?" And he wasn't. He wasn't like he wasn't trying to pull something. Like he just didn't know what to do. So you know, he borrowed. He someone gave him the pistol. He you know learned how to use it. He learned how to replace the magazine. Yada yada. yada. He gave him a couple extra mags. Boom. All right, four guys go in the field. Ah, go. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Everyone's dead. Ryan's, okay, is that it? Is that it? All right, Ryan's the only one left alive. Next round, same thing happened. And the guy ends up winning the entire Mag Fed tournament for that day. Damn. Which is insane. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I, I, I had to applause that because, like, it's not easy. He was playing against very <laughs> skillful guys. This, and, uh, this one kid like, could jump through the air with, and he played with two pistols. He could jump yeah. through the air, and he would just like land, like like it's a movie, like an action movie. But he would shoot you also. Oh wow! Like yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of skillful guys in there, and you did your thing, brother. And I was like, I was like, I tell that story from here there on out as to not underestimate people because that was impressive, and it's like it just shows you got that core value and that core. Uh, skill set that just carries throughout. So it's like, damn, we got to try airsoft next. <laughs> Speaking of, of skill set, so you guys are probably the two top dogs on social media, but who takes the crown? Uh, I would say, well, we got the Spick and Span show that's giving me the bump there. We'll take Marky out of the question. Yeah, Let's talk Marky about players. Yeah, Marky doesn't play paintball. I mean, he kind of does, but, you know. See, it's, it's tricky because... I don't know the the tournament side of it, so I don't know who's got numbers other than Ryan. I don't know much, you know, about that that world, so it's hard to say. I mean, I've got. A but you got fun, you have got, funnier content, yeah, right, than Ryan. Yeah, I've, I'm. The thing about me is that I go right across the board, so I've got a whole bunch on YouTube, uh, a whole bunch on Instagram, and I just blew up recently on TikTok, going over three hundred k. So, and you know. One it's video like sixteen million views, another one like eight million. Dang, views, sixteen like million. So, I like to learn where you're taking your gear out in the hotel room, throwing it on the bed. You got a yeah. rap, rap song. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though, it, and it's like it, it's it's what works on one form of social media does not work on another. So I'll go viral on Instagram with one type of video, and then another type of, and put the same video on. Uh, TikTok and it'll, it will die, it will die. So it, it's such a random thing and it's so time consuming and stuff. But my goal is to bring more people into the game and put more people into paintball and show them what paintball is. So I don't mind whatever yeah. happens either way. Hey, you know what I mean? So wh- it's like we got a, we got a good question here. Um, yeah. Who would you say? Okay, let's let's kind of test a little bit of your of your of your tournament or event knowledge. Oh All right. Jesus, bro. Okay. Who okay. would you say the top five players are um, in the game right now? You cannot use my name or Kyle's name. <laughs> what about Lang? Uh, he stopped playing about five years ago. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it, you could just, you, you don't have, they don't have to be the top five. Okay. I mean, it could um, be your top let's five. Let's try uh, Mouse. Yeah, okay, Mouse. There we go. Um, 
He's in the cream right now. I go with uh, Margot. There we go. Okay. Mouse is a big um, fan too, so he's gonna be stoked. You said his number one. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Margot. Um, geez, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, a rad, a rod, a rod. Okay. <laughs> a rab. A rab. A rab. Wait, a, there's J rab and there's a rod. Or was okay. it a blend? Is it like? I would go with both of them. J -Rod, okay, both of them. J rad. A rab. <laughs> J. J J Rod J Rod is J -Rod. a rapper. J Rod, J -Rod is a rock yeah. rapper. And I'm getting mixed up with the baseball player too. Um, look, guys, I, they're laughing at me in the chat. I know <laughs> that's because you said <laughs> that's because you said A Rab. <laughs> getting that A Rab um, money. All right, you got four. How many did I give you so far? That, four. That's four and a half, kind of. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Who else? Um. Come on. Uh, this is a good. Yeah. Hey, I will tell you what though. You are you are scoring points here. This is a that's a good lineup so a far. AJ Rob, <laughs> that's a good that's a good. Uh, um, and I, I, dude, I honestly can't think of that many players in the game. I can I can tell. What's a guy you like then? Huh? Someone that you like? Like, like I said, I've, I've seen. I, like, I think a few I think games. he's kind of I think he's kind of behind the thing. okay he's behind and, the eight uh, ball. He's here. really damn good at it. Um, and it's funny, it's funny because I I have the subscription to watch the tournaments. And I've literally given that away on my channel so other people can watch it because they appreciate it more than I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I so they're just fighting over, they're just, they're all just logging, oh, e yeah, logging each other out know. because you got 300,000 followers. So, <laughs> that, yeah. So, so we'll, they get to watch 15 and, seconds before and someone. We'll, just, just so you know, because, uh, um, I, I, I steal Kyle's, uh, password sometimes and Blake's. So, only one person can watch and log in at a time. So if you share the password, oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rip off the system. I know that only one person. It's not a Netflix thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay, uh, and then the other question is, do you think if you took uh, a crew of fifty of your scenario guys, like this, this is a question from the same same person, um, yeah. Could you take on the top ten pr players in the woods? And I, I guess we would have to put boundaries on the on the on the size of the field because obviously, um, if you give me smoke grenades and first strike rounds, yes. Well, I don't <laughs> Do know. Do we this... get first strike rounds? Well, no, because you can't put them in your yeah, loader. Sure. You have to okay. use a mag fed. You don't uh, want to use a mag fed. I mean, yeah, you could have a ton of them. It's not going to work, as you said. But yeah, yeah. well, you, you could you me, could you load it in Civil War rounds. style. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> First strike rounds, smoke grenades, and some good foliage. I think uh, the wood ballers would uh, give you a good time for your money. Yeah, okay, some I, good foliage it is. Yeah, I'm not sure that the smoke grenades are going to help because I don't feel that smoke grenades really work. Very, Maybe I mean, like a flashbang, well, but, but but no. So I smoke grenade. Just... If you're trying to do a big push and you know how to use a smoke grenade and you're watching the wind and you're doing it effectively, it <laughs> it, it works. I'll tell you what, though, I won't vouch for the first strike rounds because those things I've been shot by those a bunch, and those things fucking hurt, dude. You can't. Well, you, you can't can shoot them so far. Like, well, if has someone you ever can't frozen? Be the like has it's some, literally like almost double. Yeah. Has someone ever frozen paintballs out there in the foliage and shot you with them? No, nah, that's a myth, bro. That's yeah. A myth. Yeah. It's not gonna last. Like, by the, I've tried freezing them just as, on my YouTube channel. And by the time you, unless you have them in like liquid nitrogen, well, like I, I try to freeze them uh, and the night, <laughs> at night before the hotel, but, but and shoot everybody the next day. But by the time I get to the field, they're all melted. <laughs> we'll just let this let Freudian <laughs> slip right there. <laughs> if you, well, I try, I try, I do a bunch of weird stuff on my channel, right? Because I like to break, I like to myth bust. That's smart, actually. Uh, paintball rumors that. Well, it is it is smart here. because you you kind of you kind of are are introducing a lot of people to paintball. And that's like yeah. the biggest thing uh, that huge. people people complain about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's huge, and it's like it's like it's. I, I show them like by the time you try to freeze it, and if you mm -hmm. get it, manage to get it out to a field, and you mm -hmm. manage to put it in your marker, it's going to be mush by the time. Mm. It won't. Even, it's going to be like you know, like it a hot even dog. fall out of the gun. So I, I've done that. I've like shot in iPhones and laptops to show people what they could do. I want people to wear their Wait, goggles you shot at all a, times. You shot an iPhone. Yeah. And, and the laptop? It. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, what are, are these old computers you know, or old phones? Are they an old one or your current one that you use? What are you doing? Uh, well, well, it breaks it for sure, right? Because what I, I film on the field, right? Yeah. So when I'm playing, 
I live stream while I'm playing, or I'll, I'll just film uh, what we're doing and stuff. Or I live, I'll live stream me and Ryan out there shooting bad guys and stuff. So my phone gets hit constantly. Like Apple Store knows me on a first name basis because I'm always coming back <laughs> for get repairs and stuff. So, you just call up but, Tim Cook. And say I just that's part of what I do. I just right? did some marketing. Send me another one. I like it. There you go. But it's it's part of the, it's part like I have like three cameras on my two cameras on my gun and one on my helmet when I play because it's about getting all those angles and filming and all that stuff. So it's I don't have the regular paintballer experience. I'm mm -hmm. trying to show everyone else in the world what it's like to play. So you know that's mm -hmm. you know got to lift. Cause no, I know, I know. I, I've, I've, I've seen your I've seen your equipment set up to charge your stuff at, at the at, at at the hotel. It's pretty pretty wild. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, so then, then let me ask you this final, final, final uh, question: How up to date are you with uh, with the current news and the state of of uh, the NXL with this uh, with this team, the Latin Saints? Have you heard anything, or you just kind of see what's in the in the in the conversation over uh, there? I've heard, and I think it's tragic <laughs> because it seemed like paintball was starting to really get to that professional professional level where. Uh, ballers were starting to get compensation for what they do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, um, you know, I was happy for you guys because I, you know, I heard what, uh, I heard what behind the scenes stuff and I heard what's going on. And I go, it's about freaking time. I know bowlers who make more than pay ballers do. Who? And it's like, bowlers? bowlers, bowlers, professional bowlers. But again, it's a bigger niche than what we have. Right. And it's like, the, but the skill set it takes to play paintball and what you got, what we go through, getting hit, and it, it, it's a darn shame that um, you know that's not regular place for the sport. But again, then you have to get into why isn't paintball at that level, and then you can get into conspiracy theories as to why certain companies don't want paintball to become mainstream, and then. You know, you start doing that. You start talking about stuff like that. You end up getting blackballed, right? And it's like, it's like, you know, if it was bigger, it could could it be bigger? Could it be on TV? Got it. it you know, there's there's people out there who are dead straight saying that there's no way paintball will be on TV because it's seen as violent, mm -hmm. uh, because you're shooting markers, which makes no sense to me. But I think that if you're with the right marketing and the right people marketing paintball mm -hmm. there's no reason why it shouldn't be on tv but we don't have the right people pushing that plain and simple so you guys should be making serious money i'm not saying we should be you should be making basketball money <clears throat> but <laughs> i'm saying that as a professional sport for uh tournament guys you know you should be doing better and the company should be doing better and stuff like that and i think that you know we're very blessed to do what i do to do what we do mm -hmm. um i'm one of the few with ballers in the world who does it professionally and gets we'll say compensated for what he does in the game i'm maybe one of three guys in the world who do what i do uh, when it comes to wood ball but right. you guys paintball should be thinking this is a marketing tool for getting more people to want to play tournament because people should want to be you guys more on a higher tier not only just for the love of the game, but for for that monetary response. And it's like, I mean, we've, we've talked back, back in the day uh -huh. about the early days when people were getting cars and stuff winning these tournaments. And, you know, it all went to shite for whatever reason. But, again, it, it shouldn't have to rely on, like, one random dude coming out with, you know, a pocket full of money. Who knows where it came from? I'm not going to make any assumptions. But... Um, it should be better. The whole system should be better. And I'm not going to try and blame anyone and point fingers because that's not my job. I'm just here to bring people into the game. Yeah. I want more people to play paintball. May it be tournament or may it be woods ball. I want to see. I, I promote both games. I promote more woods ball because we get ignored. We're that redheaded stepchild of the system. But I, I want to see you guys succeed too. Well, I, I appreciate that. And that was all really, really well said. And And you're absolutely right. And you're not the redheaded stepchild of paintball. I always say that when I'm explaining paintball and what we do, uh, because most people have played, most people who know about paintball that aren't like paintball players, they uh, they have all know it. They all know it from a birthday party or a bachelor party or like a friends just weekend. And it was uh, yeah. it was it was they played in the woods, right? 
So I always I always equate it and, and run the parallel like think of snowboarding and skiing. Everybody knows about snowboarding and skiing, right? And you go to your local mountain and there's all there's a huge mountain, you know, thousands and thousands of acres of of open terrain, hills, and there's people buying the ticket, paying and going in there. Then in this small little area, there's this 35 foot half pipe that only Sean White and a handful of other people in the world can actually successfully hit. And then there's this terrain park with these huge kickers. And then there's some little things here and there that like Kyle hit because <laughs> he's very reckless <laughs> on a snowboard. But you know, like yeah. you'll, you, there's, there's a distinct difference between this thousands and thousands and thousands of acres where everybody will pay to take it to go on and then the tournament side right and it's the same sort yeah. of thing but you need the tournament side to show off the high-end stuff just like formula one just like nascar just like any yeah. of these like high-end aspects of the game like i don't have a souped up car that can go you know 300 miles an hour but that mclaren is sick you know yeah. or that that ha- like someone's a honda fan that Honda's really cool I'm going to get an Accord because I can't go 300 miles an hour, but I would think that Honda team is pretty rad. It's kind of maybe that part right there didn't work work as well to tie everything together, but (laughs) no one's driving Honda Accords out here except for Skinny Kevin. (laughs) But that's that's the reason, and that's the thing. And and, and I think it is important, right, because, you know, you guys – and even in in Reaper is is a great example too. Um, He's a bit much, but he walks around, he'll, like, grab some little kid and be like, Hey, come over here, and Reaper's just getting roasted, yeah. you know. And he's like, "Here, we shoot so my shoot Reaper. my gun." And the kid's like, shoots his gun. It was like, "Whoa, I shot that guy's gun. That guy's, a, you know, a, you know, the biggest thing in paintball, you know." And so, yeah. I, it is important, right? And there needs to be it's very important. there needs to be people on all sides of the of the of the ball, and Absolutely. all sides of the field. But um, yeah, and it's like it's funny because I had I had to I had to talk to this, someone about this because um, I. I Reaper does this thing where he'll let, you know, he's, he's very good at what he does, and I love Reaper for it. And mm-hmm. He'll go into the shooting gallery, and he'll, he'll get a couple kids from the staging area who are too young to play, and he'll let the, coach, the kids shoot him uh, in the, the uh, crony area type mm-hmm. of thing and let them shoot a paintball gun for the first time, and he'll give up stickers, and I love that stuff. And I go, and, you know, and this whole come to me, he go, hey, Wolf, you want, you want, can we go shoot you? I go, fuck no, no. No, that's not what I do. <laughs> yeah. you want to, I'm not that guy. I'm the guy who you have to come out there. And if you hit me, it's going to be an accomplishment because I'm not going to let you hit me. I My job is to shoot faces and put it on camera and have fun with, with it. And of like, I, that's not, you know, I'm popular. I'm famous in the sport. And all that stuff. I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm not that guy. <laughs> Don't, I don't, homie. Don't play that. I'm like, you gotta work to shoot me out of this game. Me and me and Ryan, me and Greenspan, Ryan, we go at each other whenever we get the chance. Uh huh. And it's like whoever get you know, it, and you laugh about it. Like we met up one time at this big boat at Planet Explosion, and like I, it was hard to tell who shot who first. And we posted our own videos. Of I mean, I know who shot who first. And, <laughs> and it's like, it's like, that's what I'm into. Like, you got to work to shoot me. Cause I'm not going to, I'm going, I'm going to put you on my highlight reel when I shoot you. So you better hit me first. That's one of my favorite that, videos. You know, Actually, and shout out to free flow real quick. Cause Hey, Wolf, this was the, this was the gun that, uh, that, that got you right here. I actually have it right here. Free, oh, flow, free flows in the house. I see you guys. I appreciate the the donation uh, to the show. But here's my here's my custom free flow cocker that I got uh, a while back, and this thing is insane. Um, Crazy. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like really really well done. Aesthetic anodizing anodized it, but I love shooting this thing. It's so much fun. This is the gun wow. that took you down in the boat, my man. Lasers. This is it right Lasers. here. Lasers. I went in there. I can't hate on that. <laughs> Bring it back next time. Next time though, because. We got a rematch coming. I'm not, you know. I'll be there. Yeah, I just talked to TJ. Some coins. I did. I'll, yeah, the, we'll, we. I think. We'll, yeah, did we get you some coins? Did Alex get you some coins? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. We'll play for a coin. Let's see what happens. All right. We'll play. Yep. We'll, well play what for I want to do one day is um, just find an actual speedball field, and uh, I don't know. Not. I don't know if we want to do a one v one or maybe like five woods ballers or. Five, you know you're what I mean? need like more than one, five woodballers, but yes. Properly on a speedball field. Yeah, if you if you guys are playing magfed on a speedball field, you're gonna need a lot of you guys. You're gonna need a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I just want to try you it out. Need to pull the whole crew out. You never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Um, <laughs> well, right on. Yep, I talked to TJ today. I'm going to be at Clowns vs. Zombies. Uh, I've got a big surprise um, uh, also that's going to be uh, coming out to Clowns vs. Zombies out there uh, second weekend in October. So Wolf will be there. I'll be there. And uh, I, think, yep. I think a couple more Dynasty guys are going to be coming out there with us. So yep. Yeah. And let me know if you try any other events like that, and I'll try and fly out for it. All right, man. I appreciate that. I uh, someone, both of our schedules are insane, so it's, when we link up, it's a it's a rarity. And it's, someone it's a did ask if you're going to go to Super Game in Indy, Indy, Indiana. No, I can't make. I, I, <laughs> nah. uh, I'm already. I was pre booked like this year for like two years ago. Okay. Because the COVID was crazy, so it's like people book me during the off time. So I'm not free till next year. Right now. Um, all well, right. You know. Well, I'll, well, then at least I'll see you in October. Yeah, man. And again, I'm, I'm very blessed and very thankful what, for what I do. I mean, I've been doing this for a minute now, bro. I'm turning, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting hard to keep up with you TikTok, guys. Hey, TikTok's keeping you young. It, it is, bro. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. And shout out again, shout out to all the, the players coming out on TikTok. And it, it, it's fun harassing the airsofters and, and, uh, doing all the videos and everything like that and uh you keep up the content too loving the show it's, it's a lot of fun watching you guys go at it and uh <laughs> it's just jokes and that's why people i love when people don't take themselves too seriously and just have fun with it of course yeah that's it that's the show here that's why we got you on the ipad man yeah <laughs> i love it <laughs> all right wolf thanks a lot for coming on i appreciate it and i'll see you uh i'll see you in a couple uh couple months all right well thank you the blessings go follow right, wolf yeah. wolf paintball my man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, guys. So uh, real quick before we get back into uh, in, into the juice here. Um, one of the reasons I think it's well, – he mentioned a lot of really important things in there that, uh, that, that shouldn't go unnoticed, right? I know that a lot of people aren't into mixing the two realms. You know that I am a huge fan of playing in the woods. I'm always trying to get him to go. There's a big game out here every year, and for some reason, every year in December, he's busy. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking guy is not busy on a like a random Sunday in December. I mean, but um, it is important to get out there because he's right. Okay, we are keeping the the so as far as growing the sport goes, we aren't necessarily growing it as much as someone like he might be. He's getting the people hooked, and then we're keeping you guys. We're keeping the you guys dosed actually, and and keeping you guys excited and and, and entertained and. And really, we are spreading the good, the good paintball spirit and knowledge and everything around the, the field. But like guys like him are out there getting everybody hooked, like playing out in those woods ball like events. I, I think you know. Yeah, we're out there. Once you get hooked, we're giving you that that avenue and that 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 destination to move forward on. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, what just reading read the comments. <laughs> um, I did see something about Diego uh, buying into HK. I don't believe that's the case. I believe. Perhaps HK might have sponsored them. So uh, we did see um, two interesting comments. One just came in. Uh, Revo just picked up Geiger from Energy, and I'm pretty sure that Geiger did get uh, did leave Energy Elite. So that could be true. Another one that we saw was uh, Moorhead to level up. Ryan Moorhead to LVL. Now this that. would be an interesting move. Moorhead lives in Pittsburgh. Close to Ohio, kinda. Closer than Houston is. He Morehead did just have a kid, that would kind of keep him a little bit closer to home. Maybe lower the uh, I don't want to say expectation, but commitment, right? Yeah. He did just congratulations to Ryan Morehead. Also, a kid I believe had just had a one month baby. Uh, sorry, yeah, one, <laughs> had a baby a month ago. Happy yeah, one month yeah. birthday. Uh, just the other day. So congrats to everybody's having babies out there. I believe uh, Jonathan Padilla, who hooked it up with our brand new uh, backboard over here, the Starry Night, I believe it's Jupiter underneath the arches and Joshua Tree. Uh, it might be having a kid today or tomorrow. Um, and uh, NYX said uh, Henry to Saints for a dollar for two-year deal. You do the math. Okay, yeah. interesting. That could Who's be Henry? uh sense oh sense oh went to the saints for a dollar to your deal yeah so there that's another there we allegedly go. uh-huh shout out to shout out to nyx in here in the chat uh <laughs> that did not show up for the one-on-one i think you guys already heard that but uh yeah and uh apologies to everybody out there who's a haunted cord driver 
I I do think the Hondas are very well made cars. Skinny Kevin drives a Honda. Um, they're fine. They're just the only one that, than the racing team. You know, obviously Ferrari. Ain't nobody out here driving a Ferrari. Are you? <laughs> if you are, if you are, hit that donate button. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's yes. Yeah, so what do you what do you got? What do you what do you got in the what do you got in the pipeline? You got a lot a lot of things in the pipeline. I think. Yeah, I I don't know. I think maybe depending on you know if there is a change of events, what I previously talked about. I guess that's still could, there's a possibility that could be on the table. Um, what do you mean a change of events? Like staying with the Saints? Yeah, if like the team something somehow the team stayed, or maybe someone bought the team that was like, mm-hmm. you know, maybe if HK bought the team or maybe something the, like that. Uh, speak like, and span show pushes up to three hundred and sixty-two bucks. Bought the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe, um, but I think uh, probably will by next Tuesday have an answer. So uh-huh. and I'll save it for the show. Yeah, we got to. We're I'm, gonna dig as much to as another can. team. Mm-hmm. Or um, well, no, you got to. You're gonna have to tune in. You're gonna absolutely have to tune in next week uh, to catch exactly where Kyle's gonna go and what's gonna happen with the Saints a little bit more. Yeah, he did just free up a lot of cap space. <laughs> True. So, um, and uh, you know, uh, there is definitely a vested interest because I believe all the entrance fees are paid. Maybe that comes with the purchase. So that means that takes off. Mm. Four more entrance fees, I think, which is around three grand a pop. That's that's a that's a smooth twelve uh, k. Um, so, I don't think. Um, and a couple of people were, like were saying, you know, sucks that these these people are like not gonna have teams. I mean, all those players, you know, as far good. as the American players were, you know, kind of handpicked because they are, let's say, above average players. So they're not gonna. <laughs> I don't think that they're going to be out of a team. I'm I'm sure that every single player on that team will find another team to go to. So I'm not. You guys don't be too worried about that. Mm-hmm, but uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, it is it is a bummer that the situation happened how how it did. Obviously, but um, we'll see see what happens here. Yeah, yeah. And Chase, right? We we pay entrance fees, so they collect. Uh, it's 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 over three grand. I think it's thirty two fifty or something like that for twenty teams. They're getting six six uh, k. Well, seven or six sixty one something. Yeah. And uh, and then yeah, they pay out twelve for first. No, actually, it was eight for first. Three for second. Three for second. Uh, but then they got to pay the refs. They got to build the field. There's a few zeros to move around over there, and then there's leftover with zero. So it makes math math makes sense somewhere in there. Um, but uh, but they do provide uh, a pretty kick ass event you know mm-hmm. um i agree yeah so so it, i guess there is you know there's got to be a, an entrance fee i know that like other pro sports i'm sure there's entrance fees for sure there's got to be entrance fees right is anybody else out there a pro athlete that please tell me that there's an entrance fee to the event that you go to like <laughs> tiger woods has got to pay to go to the masters right i don't think so shit like, um, like thing. um let's see what else is there like Sean White has got to go pay to play, like go to the Dew Tour, right? Probably not. Shit. <laughs> um, what else is there? What's another? Let's go. Let's let's knock it down a couple. Like if you got a badminton competition, or bowling, you got to pay entry fee to bowling. Or like ping pong or something. You got to pay entrance fee. Yeah, There's got to be. There's got to be. All right, I, I feel a little bit better my, uh, about myself um, right now. Oh, so uh, a couple things. I uh, do want to call call Alex. Um, because we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, of a drop that's going to be happening uh, today. We've got some cool, uh, something cool to announce, but I'll wait for Alex. We got a box. We got a couple boxes while I was gone. I was out in, I was out in uh, you could grab that box. Yes. There's some stuff that we're just going to give away stuff in there. There might be something, there's something in the refrigerator that we're supposed to eat. It came from, uh, it came from Minnesota. Okay. So um, do you want me to give you this whole box, or do you want me to just start handing you stuff? Um, yeah, I guess you could grab the grab the letter, grab the box. I don't know, however you want to do thing. it. Okay, so this broke, but uh, um, so uh, all right, we've got we've got this that's labeled hot. So I'm gonna let you open that for sure because okay. that's your favorite. This and you're the one who made us do uh, do you this. Mask. Okay, so we've got some signed memorabilia to be given away from Keith. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This is a, a framed signed uh, dynasty 
poster right here. We got a jersey. We've got a Carnage jersey. So we're gonna we're gonna toss a couple of giveaways here. Um, also in the gift giveaways, this guy didn't claim these medium HK pants, so these are gonna go on the wheel today. We have a gun case. We got a it's an Eclipse gun case signed by Glenn Takamoto, Ryan Greenspan, Rusty Glaze, uh, Dalton, Alex, uh, Mike Mesa, Blake Yarver, Oliver Lang signed this gun case, so we've got this to give away as well. Um, yeah, Swamp Fox, you're right. There is also a uh, uh, a new JT. Uh, goggle strap drop so a little ode to uh, back in the day let me go grab one thing really quickly um, uh, because this is I, I need to show you something so you got uh, this is for you this is honey for you okay yeah it's it's uh, it's it's Minnesota honey who is it okay that's from that's from uh, from Steve and everybody and awesome uh, also from him is I don't know what this is Maybe you can this thing up here. Oh, another gift there. Um, it's kind of a gift, yeah, yeah. So, this flew back with me refrigerated slightly, okay. somewhat refrigerated. I mean, I'm hoping that it's still refrigerated. So, um, long time viewer of the show. Here, let's get Alex on the horn here. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this thing, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Alex Fragey on here because uh, we need to. Someone need said to... no sound. You guys don't have sound. We don't have sound. I think we have sound. Hello, Jay James. Hello, Hall. check, 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 check. Turn your volume up. Yeah, you might have muted yours. Yeah, we got, uh, we got. There we go. Give me that hot thing. Okay. That hot box. Wait, no, put that there. I was gonna put this back up. Oh, okay. And you can have this hot box. There he is, Eggman. What's up, Biatch? <laughs> yeah. Dude, don't leave Kyle sitting there by himself again. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> dead air, dude. Dead air. Yeah. <laughs> well, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You got on the show. You're hot. You got your you got uh, spick and span shirt? I got my spick and span shirt on. Dude. The merch has got to drop soon. So, Al, what did you, uh, what do you think? Did you did you hear the Latin Saints are uh, are, are allegedly uh, folded? Nah, dude, they're gonna save it. They're gonna save it. Yeah. Um, are they still gonna Are they still gonna have a team though? Well, they've paid entrance fee, and uh, they have a team, so someone's got to show up. If they don't, I think they forfeit their spot. Dude, what if they came in and it was like Diego and the rest of the guys, and they won? Um, hey, great story. Dude, it'd be Diego and uh, I don't know. Did Silos quit? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's like confirmed. Oh. So where are those guys going? Back to the Ironman or something? Uh, I think Silos is going to damage. Oh, there's more stuff in here. What is this? That makes sense. What do you guys have there? A bunch of awful stuff. Are you guys gonna eat crap now? Not oh, today. Oh, dude, we're gonna drink this. Water? Yeah, we got we to gotta eat this because it's perishable. Not today. Come on. No. Let's eat one of these things. We've got some blood sausage. Are you bummed, Kyle? Yeah, I'm super bummed. That sucks, dude. It does suck. But you're still officially on the team. Uh, I mean, I'm not on another team yet. But you quit the Saints. I, I didn't quit. I think that... Well, I just heard that we don't have a team, so that's kind of just where I'm at. <laughs> Dude, let's go, baby! Dynasty! <laughs> let's hear it! Let's hear it, everybody, in the comments. Where should Kyle go? Where should Kyle go? <laughs> Where should he go, baby? Where in the world is Kyle San Diego? <laughs> so, um, we've got... Dude, we've... what about Shorty, man? He's got babies. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, he's gonna strap up. Dude, look at all those... Dynasty, Dynasty, baby! Wow. Look at the comments blowing up! Aftermath! <laughs> Aftermath! Right, Boo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would actually help Aftermath a lot. Here's Kyle's. Jeez, here's please. Kyle's. Uh, is is uh, this is how it is with Kyle and Aftermath? Um, I wish some of these guys would <laughs> nice catch, balls and go to like you know go to a team like Revo or Level or like one of these teams that they could really help out a lot. Yeah, you don't want the Kings, dude. Over there. Yeah, those oh, dudes. The Kings. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hurricanes. They're coming up. There's three or four guys on the Kings that are going to be studs in like another two years. Mm -hmm. Destiny, uh, dude. There you go. 
Get on Destiny. Heroines, Kyle. Heroines. <laughs> yeah, Ladybugs. Have you ever seen the movie Ladybugs? Oh, yeah, baby. That, that wouldn't fly these days. No way. DMG. Actually, it does, actually N- yeah, it does fly. NYX. Yeah, Dude, could... how crazy would that be, Kyle, if you went to NYX? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, the Naughty Dogs. I think the Naughty Dogs folded. No, they're still a team. Oh, they are. They're called the North. Yeah, they're called the Northwest Dogs. I think now. Ah, well, that. Yeah, I mean, but it's still the, it's still the same guys. Rocky's son is on it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and Rocky. Um. So. Uh, so what's uh what's going on with you? I heard uh any 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 news. News. I had the stomach flu. That's news. <laughs> yeah. What happened there? Well, I spent the last two days on the toilet. <laughs> Is your team still good, Dynasty? Dude, come on, dude. We're the best, bro. Look at the points. <laughs> Look at the points. I think we might have dropped down a little bit. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the points yet. No, they didn't change the rankings, bro. We're still seated first. Oh, yeah. No, I oh, saw yeah, that baby. that's not accurate. That's accurate. We're in, we're, Latin Saints are in 10th place now. Oh, uh, I mean, the way they did the draw, it had to do – they didn't factor in uh, – Oh, oh, yeah, that for that. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't know. If you ask my mom – which Alex does. Um, we're the best. Um, we're the best. Dude, Dynasty's always the best, bro, even if we lose. Yeah, we're the good guys. We're fighting. And I will say this. Like, you know, it sucked not playing on Sunday at the last tournament. But it was actually kind of fun going out there on Sunday and, like, hanging out and uh, talking to people and, you know, mm-hmm. shooting the shit. Yeah. Uh, uh it was nice kind to of get experience. Yeah, you get to sit down and, in the tournament when you're not like stressed out about you know playing and and you know all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. It's I mean, yeah, like like ask NYX. Like it was kind of nice to be able to talk to those guys and hang with them because that's you know that's just their normal <laughs> mo. Um, so it was uh, it was pretty cool. You get to see them selling swag like it was a flea market. Um, but uh, yeah, even you were having fun, Ryan. I was having a great time. Yeah, I was I was, yeah. I was loving it. It was it was a blast. I liked being there on Sunday. Um, explaining people when they say, "Hey, when do you guys play?" And you're like, "Oh, we we actually we actually already played." I was like, "Yeah, oh. we're playing uh, in a month and a half in Philly." <laughs> Friday in a month and a half. Yeah. yeah. So actually, uh, Al, we're gonna we're thinking about buying the Latin Saints. Well, I will say, Kyle, the people have spoken. Mm-hmm. What's the consensus? Dynasty. Oh, dude! I mean, go look at the comments. Yeah. Easily. People's fingers are bleeding from typing in Dynasty. All right. <laughs> My fingers are bleeding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chaos theory. One, one last ride, dude. Come on. I guess we're going to have to have a meeting after I turn the Spick and Span show off here. Mm-hmm. Okay, Alex. If you had to pick one... You can eat all this stuff raw. If you can eat... If we had to eat... No, we, we have to, to prepare thing, that stuff. No, it's all... It's all I, think I have to do it. research. I have to do research. i got to see okay. what this type of... Uh, this looks good. That does not what look do you, good. What do you have? Okay, we've got head cheese. Right. <laughs> head cheese is good. Head cheese is good. Okay. Yeah. All right. We've got fully cooked blood sausage. That's also good. There we go. And then we've got some nouse, knouse pickled uh, beef tongue. I don't know about that. I mean, it's pickled, so it's probably fine. Yeah. And then and then we got this came all the way from Hawaii. Uh, I do know that they ask if there's any liquid uh, gels, lithium-ion batteries in there, but obviously... Um, he, chili water? He, yeah. I'm just going to try some of this right now. Hawaiian, right. Hawaiian, Hawaiian chili water? Uh, you good. know what? I bet all that stuff is actually good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know about that, that water. I have no idea about that. But head cheese is... took a is, big uh, sip. Yeah, I went a little big. Hold on. You need to so you know it. what head cheese is, right, Kyle? Um, no, is it like from Munda? From Munda cheese? Yeah, basically. So they take like the pig and they cut up the like the face and the jowls and like all the pieces that you, you know, kind of leftover pieces, but a lot of those are delicious morsels. And then they they put it with gelatin and then they like they and then it solidifies into a log and then they, they cut it like lunch meat. Uh, why why do people drink that? What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Uh. God damn. What is it? Chili well, water. Yeah, it's chili water, but it's vinegar and garlic. Salt, sugar, water, vinegar, garlic. <laughs> and stingray <laughs> poison. God damn. God damn. <laughs> it's stingray poison. Stingray. Uh, it's like taking a it's like taking a shot of j- of whiskey in the snow. That oh, maybe that's what it's for to warm you up. It's from Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hiking Mauna Loa in the wintertime. <laughs> ah. Okay. 
We're going to open one of these things. We got to do it. I think we try this. I thought we, d we just tried something. No, this is to wash it down. Okay. All right. In the comment section, what do we try? It's uh, I'm going to go for the these two first. We either try head cheese or the beef tongue for eating terrible things. You guys, uh, you guys, uh, all comment in the comment section. Uh, in the meantime, um, in the meantime, we've got, uh, we've got something going live on the Hormesis site here in, uh, in a little bit here. What's the, what's the time frame on this, on this drop here, Al? Whatever you want. Dude, whatever we want. So, I like it. So, uh, I've just, um, just about to release here in, in the next, uh, few minutes, We've got a signature series, uh, Hormesis JT collab, uh, an ode to the white goggle strap. So this is my new this is my new deal here. Uh, this Check. is gonna be going live here shortly. Check these out too. What do we got? You can go over to the website hormesispaintball.com and 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 uh, check it out. Just got these guys, Gel Blaster Surge. Oh, are those on? Oh, those are your, those are on the Hormesis site? No, oh. I just they sent them to us. Oh, you guys got some come, too. They, they come fully charged with the um, with the full satchel and the and the thing is charged. I was blasting some of the guys in the shop with them earlier, but I'm gonna send these ones out to to my boy Chris Odom, um, cause uh, I saw him blasting up some of his teammates, and uh, I'm gonna shoot those yeah, out to I've, him. I've got a box of those things in the in the living room. Camille is not stoked when Sloan has those things in the, in her hand. <laughs> Dual wielding. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be. We're gonna be going big. What um oh, head cheese beef tongue? <laughs> We're getting a lot of stuff here. I see a lot more. Huh? It's fifty fifty right now. Al, what do you think? What's the tiebreaker? Um, the head cheese. You think so? That's what you want. I, I guess. I mean, I don't right want now? any of it. Or, but... gonna, or do you want to want to sell your head head straps, goggle straps? I want to do both. All right. What's okay. gonna? Um, do you want to play paintball or do you want to get speeding tickets? <laughs> you got a ticket. That's a story no, for another a, time. That's a story for another time. Oh, that's, a, that's a that's a that's a that's an inside joke. Um, <laughs> so uh, um, real quick, also we've got not only do we have that, I've got a strap to give away as well uh, on the show. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this thing in there. Uh, Let's eat that. You want to eat this goggle strap? Yeah. Nah, we'll save it. Nah, for dude, this save looks it. this looks like it could be pretty good. Oh, this is gonna stink. You think it probably will stink? It'll, hopefully, it doesn't spill on this rug. Let's put something. Down. Well, there's no juice in there. There's always juice in these things, dude. All this stuff is juicy. <laughs> Shout out, plug, plug to the t-shirt. <laughs> uh, Alex, yeah, that's you. a cool shirt. Let me see that shirt, Ryan. I got you some. Uh, I got you some. Uh, oh yeah, you got to you got to turn around here. I got you some um, some honey also. Dude, gotta, sweet. I'll trade him. I'll trade him some of my honey. Yeah, you got to send some honey out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. my honey is like coagulated though. It's like too crystallized. Is it? Is it or frothy? Is, or, or it has wax in it, huh? Is it frothy? No, no, it's not frothy. It just it, it's. I have to warm it up to get it be able to get it into jars. Well, don't you not have it sealed? Oh, you you just have it in that paint bucket over there. Yeah, it's. I do. That shit never goes bad. You don't need to seal it. Honey is one thing that in the world that doesn't spoil. Did you know that? I didn't. I did. Yes. I didn't know that. I what about paint? What about paintballs? They don't go bad. That's true. You know why? I did see a bunch of people were eating paintballs at Paintball Fit, like a paintball eating challenge. What'd you Come think? on, people, let's get it together. I don't know if that's <laughs> a good idea. Are they uh, bad for you? Uh, uh, Great American paintballs weren't bad for you. I know that. Hey, so Al, uh, let's let's let you. I want you to weigh in for everybody here. Weigh in on the the, the Latin Saints uh, situation. Did you see it coming? Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, I didn't think it was going to happen this quick. Uh, I just feel like, you know, maybe Diego made a mistake by not you like having the players' obligations good. like does, All right. kind of outlined in a more concrete way from the beginning. Because I know he gave a lot of the guys like a big amount of cash up front. Just freaking um, fingered my but all your fingers. The obligations weren't uh, weren't really set out, right? Like Mouse got a bunch of money, but only played one tournament. So, like, what's the story there? Like, did he get how many tournaments worth of money? Did he get? I'm sorry. What did you say? Nothing, dude. I don't know. I I, I didn't see it coming. I, how, how about that? We don't mean to upset you. Yeah, I'm not mean, upset. You know, I'm upset. 
You don't need to be upset. We can't have everybody upset. here upset. Did you just Thanks, smell guys. your armpits? That's why I love you, dude. You care about other. You 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 have empathy. I will say, unlike unlike, unlike Ryan, who's incapable of of uh, sympathizing with anybody else's feelings. Did you just smell your uh, armpits? Yeah, dude. It's not good, bro. I will say there was one tournament. I think it was. Man, I think it was uh when we got second place maybe that year I went back to Ironman and I was pretty bummed and you ca- and no one could cheer me up and you came back behind die and you cheered me up. Ah, uh, what a guy. Uh, huh. Uh, you're one of my all-time favorites. Thank you. You are too. Thanks, pal. What am I that fucking what am I head cheese Ryan, or what? Boo, Ryan Boo. <sighs> it's like uh it's like baloney. I like yeah. how you said it's actually pretty good as you're spitting it out. Into the- well, I ate a good amount of it. Dude, I'm tripping out. Is the iPad upside down or something? Because everything's upside down. No, you're upside down. The fuck? Your phone might be upside down. Yeah, you got to turn your phone around. Now my phone's upside down. Right, but how, how's the picture? How are we upside down? Now the picture's right. Okay. Dude, it's Vic and Span Show Tech. Yeah. Well, that actually, head cheese. I wouldn't... Uh, you know, I would have never thought, but uh, it. Uh, I think Kyle's about to go barf right now. <laughs> no, it, it was good. I'm just uh, watching, washing my hands. Yeah, let's get a little hand sanitizer on here. Uh, is brawn and cold cut tree meat that jelly originated? Yeah, made with flesh from the head or a calf of a pig. Typically set in uh, aspic is usually eaten cold or room temperature on a sandwich. Huh. Well, I just told you that, and now you're reading it? Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention I when I was saying it. I don't listen to I don't listen to what you say. <laughs> it's literally like uh, it's like white noise, like little little zzz, you know. <laughs> kind of what I hear when you talk. Bzzz. Sounds like a sewing circle. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have a little uh, a little sip here uh, of this of this of Eckerd's Hawaiian chili water, which is incredibly spicy. I'm All not, right, should we do this? I'm not entirely sure why you're doing that. I, I Let's think that water would shots, be good to, like, warm, warm up. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Uh, black and blue headbands with the swirls on it. Which, Justin Lamb, which one are we looking at? What black and blue headband has swirls? Those on? are the Champions Club ones. Oh, the Champions Club ones. Yeah, you got to be a Champions Club member. Uh, also, just as a reminder, Champions Club members, uh, we will be having an Intel session tomorrow at 5 p.m. Got some big news for you guys. Uh, uh, some clowns versus zombies updates, and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hoot. It's gonna be a hoot. I'm trying to get Perchak to come down and, and jump on. Dude, that game's on. so fun. I know. I know. You're coming this year. You gotta yeah. come with me. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> yeah. How much are you getting paid? <laughs> I'm splitting it with you. They're, they're going to cover your um, paint yeah. entry, Alex. Yeah. You got you got all day all day air, all day entry. I'm Wait. there, bro. That's okay. all I need. That's all you need. And and sure. and I'll make sure that the went that all your uh, all you can eat Wendy's at midnight is uh is is on tap for you as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baconator. <laughs> Give me I need four or five what? baconators. I need five. What baconators. do you mean you're only serving breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, that would have been a good one. Th Stevens had a good one. He's like, I expected a Kyle to go in the bathroom and then come out with like a dynasty shirt on. <laughs> oh, that would have been dope. <laughs> oh, that would have been dope. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna wow. we're gonna see what's uh what's have on to the tune horn. in next week. Yeah, you're gonna have to tune in next week. This is, you gotta have a cliffhanger, and that's been our big marketing faux pas lately. Mm-hmm. We haven't we've really been blowing it. We need to keep a cliffhanger. It's got to be like dude, tune in for season look at two. this, dude. Five hundred and sixteen people watching. Wow. I know. I know. Yeah, Spick and Span show to the roof. Spick and Span show, it's yeah. happening, bro. Finally, I told you we'd catch our big break one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> so um, to the moon. With that said, uh, I've got uh, I've got uh, two one hundred dollar gift cards that are going to be courtesy of Matrix Gear Paintball. Booyah! Right there on uh, Mr. Padilla's beautiful uh, photograph of the Milky Way. Uh, and then we've got uh, a special gift that's going to be coming out of that gift box uh, that we just unwrapped. Which could maybe be? Should we give away these signed goggles? This has got Oliver Lang's signature on it. You're gonna need a goggle strap, which I don't know if my goggle straps will fit in this, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that they will or will not. Uh, but it's got a bunch of these are like old school, old school items here. Yeah. And uh, this is a pretty cool one. 
Let's see here. We got uh, this is uh, all being donated by Keith Smoot uh, from Kaiser Carnage. And uh, we actually played them at the this. ICC. Do you remember Kaiser Carnage, Al? Did you figure that out? Um, Kaiser, yeah. Kaiser Carnage. Yeah, we, from we, Australia. No, that's Ki- – no. <laughs> remember when I said, like, you don't listen to me, I don't listen to you. It's a thing. It's just like – Dude, say what's up to Roman. What up? What up, Roman? <laughs> what up? <laughs> what are you doing there? Is Alex uh, making you work like – what is he doing? Dude, I, sla- I slave drive slave these guys, drive bro. These guys. <laughs> um, so some of these are from the NPPL days. I think that's Rich Telford. No, that's yeah, excessive. Is that uh, this is a this is a pretty cool piece of memorabilia right here, actually. So we're gonna give this away. This is a nice collector's item uh, for those of you guys. I know everybody's collecting things these days. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody's on that. So uh, we appreciate everybody's donation. We appreciate everybody's support. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one in there as well. Uh, we've got a pair of headbands donated from Maui Misfits and uh, Giant Party Sports. Uh, I've got a tank top, and then these pants are getting respawn. So uh, let's kick things off right now with a uh, a $100 gift card. Oops, let me uh, let me exit this thing and move it over to the other side. This will be a $100 gift card. Open to all members here. If you're a member of the show, make sure I have your address. If you join today, I put your name on the on the list already. All right, quiet down over there, Al. Quiet. Right, I'm gonna put you on mute. Quiet down, down Al. Wait, right. what? What's dropping today? Hormesis drop? Um, we've got my goggle straps dropping oh, today. Yeah, okay. yeah, goggle straps. There's only 75 of them made, and this wow. is a limited edition goggle strap, white. Oh, look uh, at it that. is unavailable right now. But a $100 gift card going to AJ Thamer. Hey, yo, Roman. Oh, okay. I'm keep spinning. it down. Keep it down over there. Um, this is going to be uh, this is going to be for a headband. This will be for a Maui Misfits headband. He's going to Matt Santos. 400 likes. Look at that. Yeah. Thank oh, you, guys. You know what that means? You know what 400 likes means? I believe James from Island Designs is now going to have to... Oh, 007, Joe Vito. Let me put your name on the list here, my friend. Don't forget to send us your address. So if you win something, we could ship you what you've won. And then... Oh, yeah. Winners. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put 007 on the on the on the block here, and James, can I get uh, can I get uh, can I get James from Island Designs to uh, 007 007 putting you on the list, my man. What up, James? Uh, I believe James from Island Designs. Spin the wheel for the band, he said. He said, "Spin the wheel for the band." All right. Let's see. Hold on, real quick. Let me make sure we got all the members, viewer activity. That is also we got to get Shinigan and Eric. Let me get you guys on the list here right now. Moment, 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 moment. Um, and then Alex, yeah. were you upset that you weren't in Wolf's top five players? Who were the top five? Mouse, um, Marcelo. A Rab, which was I think J Rab and A Rod mixed, yeah. A <laughs> Rab, and then um, I don't think he had a lot. He didn't know any of the other guys. I think so. No, I'm not upset about that. Um, you weren't in it. You weren't in it, Kyle. No, we said that we. You can't include us. Yeah, we couldn't. Put, um, show them the email. Oh shit! This is for. No, this is just for the. This is for a tank top. Okay, this is okay. For a tank top. I'm gonna, for the tank top. For the tank top. For the tank top. And then I and just so. Uh, Jeff DeGraff. Jeff DeGraff. Um, and then okay, so I've got three big prizes left. Uh, we've got a one hundred dollar gift card going to the Mega Support Status members. We're gonna give these goggles out for the Mega Support Status members, and then uh, the headband is gonna be going for everybody. Jamie Wheeler, let me put you on the list, my man. Thank you, Dizon. Shout out to Dizon for the for the donation for the show. Dude, shout out to Ed Dizon. He's a, he's a champ right there. That guy. He sure is. Got that, I got to have lunch with him last week. It was a good time. Yeah, Dizon, my man. I will say, Dizon also reached out and sent me a really nice text message today saying he heard about the team and uh, 
it, it was just a, a really kind message from that guy. So did it go like out. this? I heard about the team and. <laughs> 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 So, thanks to Dizon. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Derek Weagle is throwing in bands. Okay, so we got bands. Bands. Okay, so we've got two Hormesis bands. Uh, one from James and one from Derek Weagle. So, I'm going to do one as a Mega and one as an Everybody. Okay? So, uh, we're going to do all the Mega Support Status Membership uh, draws towards the end here. So let's go for the let's go for the band right now. All right. All right. Are you guys ready for the band for all members right now? Spin it. Let's just get a preemptive uh, uh, air horn right now. Okay. This is for an uh, Hormesis headband, courtesy of James from Island Design, Mr. Scott Rickard. Okay. Uh, and we also have some pants, so let's just let's just close close the day out with a with a pair of pants. Oh, you want to see something really? Oh, let me show you something really cool that we got here. Look at this. Booyah! Return address. Look at that. Look at that. Seth Williams, you just won some pants. I hope you're a medium, my man. Okay. We are gonna ramp this up. Okay. So we've got three more big giveaways, one headband courtesy of Derek Weigel, and uh, and then just a, a wrap up of one of the best shows we've had for a while. Um, really? This is a good one, man. This is a good, a lot good, of, good show. A lot I, of I viewers. Will, I will say, I will say, we've, this is one of our top viewed shows. Uh, I will say that last week's show might be one of our best ones yet, uh, and that was uh, a very eclectic, very fun group of guys. Um, that we had out here. Seth is not a medium. Well, you know what? Seth Williams can re-gift these uh, pants to a local kid at his paintball field or uh, adult, I guess that's a medium. I'm an adult that wears a medium. So you can do all that. Uh... <laughs> all right, EJD. guys, listen up. Here's a surprise. Uh, right after the uh, Spicken, or right after the Ryan Greenspan straps sell out, just wait a couple minutes and I'm going to throw some headbands on the website. So... Stick around. You'll have the inside track for watching the Spick and Span show. There you go. Um, so as soon as the headbands sell out, everybody. Um, goggle straps. Goggle straps. He's going to put some headbands up, so stay on the site. But I would recommend, should they close their cart out? Yeah, you got to you gotta get a new cart. You got to get a new cart. So you're going to get two packages. Two I packages. guess you don't know. They won't work. You'll have to, because once they sell out, you can't then. That's right. Have, yeah. you're gonna, you just um, get them when you can. I love how you call them headbands. He's like, oh, where are the headbands? Are they coming in the mail? I'm like, they're goggle straps, bro. Not headbands. Get it together. I said the same thing to... Uh, you're, uh, like an old, you're an old man, bro. Like My dad was like, hey, get your computer out of your pocket and look this up for me. I'm like, it's, not, it's not really a computer. Well, I guess it is a computer. It is a computer. They're smart ass. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I'll call it a computer from now on. Yeah. We should do a wheel of names of all the teams and then just we'll spin it. See okay, where I have to go. Me. To see where he has to go. All right, yeah. we're gonna do that next. Uh, actually, here I'll, I'll set I'll set that up here in a second. Okay, uh, hundred dollar gift card coming out hot right now. Hundred dollar gift card courtesy of Matrix Gear. Going to Super Mega Support Status member. Joe, is it Jace or Forky? Oh, Jace, back to back winners. Jace coming up. Uh, Jace, that's my boy. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. Okay, we've got uh, we've got a special pair of goggles signed by legends like rich telford oliver lang uh this is donated by keith smoot owner of kaiser carnage and this is going to mr joel hayward joel how's your stomach feel me yeah good uh it's okay man this is still this i mean stuff, it doesn't feel pic like this pickle juice right here has got me that's all right um and real quick before we uh before we announce the final final i'm gonna i'm gonna load up uh uh, really quickly, I'm going to load up the list here of names that uh, Kyle, I don't know where my phone is. Oh, here it is. All right, so Kyle sent me a list of all of the teams here. All the pro teams. Okay. And uh, we'll let the wheel pick the fate. Wheel pick, pick the fate. Come on, come on. I've got, speaking of wheels, 
You sure you should be me messing with that one? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay, here it is. All right. Does everybody want to know where Kyle will be playing next? We'll, we'll leave it up to the wheel. It's up to chance right here. Here we go. What do you think, Alex? Who do you think it's going to be? Uh, it's going to be Revo. Oh, Uprising. Wow. That's actually not a bad one. Go. What a turn of well, events. Let's actually. give it one more spin just to see. Yay, Uprising. All right, this one's just for fun. So Kyle will be playing with Uprising <laughs> in Philly. Um, and if he wasn't, he'd be playing with the Latin Saints. Oh! Oh! What a turn two, of events. Two, what a turn of events. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you, everybody. We're not done yet. I want to thank everybody. Uh, for a great show. Uh, as a reminder, for all of you who are new tuning into the show, um, <clears throat> we do this every Tuesday. I will Tuesday. say, I wasn't going to drop headbands today, but just because there are so many people watching, I decided, you know, what the hell, um, let's put them up. So really? I'm right now, yeah. Okay, well, um, we're going to give uh, we're gonna give a couple, couple of seconds here. So, yeah, lots of bonuses, aside from great content, fun conversation, um, lots of bonuses. I like all these pictures that are scrolling around on the, on the Hormesis site up there. Who is that? I don't know. Oh, that's Simone. Wow, these are, these are great pictures. Also, if you go to HormesisPaintball.com, you'll be able to see the scrolling uh, little uh, artist thing that's going on here. Oh, shout out to Loyal Blue Fox. Yeah, let nice. me put you on. Let me put you on the big wheel here. All right, loyal. So this final one is going to be for. Um, oh, I got to give away this goggle strap. So I'm gonna do goggle strap, and then a headband. So you get two spins for the super mega support status members. Uh, we really appreciate your support. Also, for those of you who have been with us for a year or longer, I've got a bunch of cards that were signed, and uh, we're gonna be shipping those. Begin to start shipping those things out. Got to figure out if I got to lick. 350 stamps. I guess you don't lick stamps anymore. No. Okay. Problem solved. Alex, Problem solved. don't forget about our jersey trade. That jersey. Oh, you got it. I got it right here for you. You awesome. have a Saints jersey for me, right? Here it is. Yep. So this one is going to be for uh, a headband courtesy of Derek Weagle and uh, and James from Island Design. Mini Me Racing. Shout and out to Derek Weagle. Yeah, Derek Weagle, my man. I appreciate you, dude. And then uh, finally, for uh, Ryan Greenspan Signature Series JT Goggle Strap in white hey, limited Roman. edition. Um, going to going to Mr. Chris Sotelli. All right. And uh, Al. What do we got, Al? Al, look at that. It's Kyle's head, Ryan's head, Al, and, and uh, Kyle's head again. <laughs> Maybe he has us on mute. I don't know. He he gets he gets confusing. What's the problem? Nothing. Nothing. We were just kind of talking about you. That's okay. I'm sure it was all nice. It was. It, it was. was. It was actually. I, I I believe so. I believe so. Dude, Ryan, remember this? Let me see it. What do we got? Hold on. Oh yeah. That's us at SeaWorld, dude. I got I got mine. Uh, I got mine in that my file cabinet right there. Yeah. A day I'll never forget. Yeah, you're definitely I not. Trying to, I asked Ryan to marry me, and he said no. <laughs> you, uh, you definitely don't want to let your wife know that you went to uh, uh, Sea World. So keep, so, <laughs> Out of all that, that's what you got. <laughs> so, so keep that, keep that, uh, uh, keep that you're hidden right. at the office. Keep that hidden at the office. Yeah, you're not kidding. All right. Well, uh, what do you say we make these headbands live for everybody? All right. Thanks for watching the Spick and Span show. Grab a goggle strap and uh, there will actually be some more goggle straps. Ryan Greenspan ones coming in the following weeks. So keep your ear to the ground. Tune into the Spick and Span show. Support these guys. And remember to stick around on Hormesis Payball afterward. Headbands are going to drop in about 10 minutes. Love you guys. Booyah! All right. Thanks, Al. There we go. Is that it? Are you hanging up or? Um, you want to keep talking? We can. I mean, no, that, we can the, keep the... talking. All right. We'll keep talking. We'll keep talking. Um, All right. And, uh, and yeah, so, uh, so thank you. Thank you everybody out there. Uh, the eating terrible things. Also, I'm going to be in Arizona next weekend for a G, a G2 clinic. So shout out to Vic, shout out to G2, keeping it, keeping it rocking out there. I believe it's already probably 190 degrees in Arizona. So I'm fired up for that part, but, uh, we're doing a little private G2 work. So I'll see everybody in Arizona. We'll be there. I'm going to be in Kentucky in September. And then, uh, and then, yeah, we're, uh, we're ripping. 
Philly. And then that Woods thing in December. October is not just a Woods thing. It's Clowns versus Zombies. No, you zombies. said December thing that I'm busy for. Oh, yeah, you're busy for that one. That's, uh, that's I'll, if you just, for... Maybe I'll check the dates. Uh, Alex, will there be a code for the bands is a question. No. No, no, no code. code. No code. Yes, David, I will be in Kentucky. Um, I want to say it's September 25th, maybe, somewhere in there. Um, I think I'm actually going to Thailand to play a tournament. September twenty third to the twenty fifth. Really? Yeah. Must be the same exact weekend as the as my thing. Or you're gonna probably, probably want to practice is. the weekend before. You're yeah. Be too I have to jet practice. lag the weekend after. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I might be packing that weekend. Yes, David, I'll be there for a clinic in uh, in September. Yeah, so uh, I'll be there. Hoggle straps are gone. All right. Well, hey, listen. Um, c- thank you for everybody who bought a uh, a goggle headband. Um. <laughs> and I appreciate all the support, but uh, you, Alex is right. We will be uh, launching a couple other ones. Um, so make sure the next one will launch. will most likely go to the paintball club members and the champs club members. So if you are a dynasty paintball club member, uh, go to dynastypaintball.com. Uh, we also ship out uh, little gifts to you guys and, uh, and you guys get little perks and cool little drops here and there. Dynastypaintball.com. You can become a member. Also you get on the list to become a champ ian's club member which is right here very very cool honor very very cool to be with you guys and we'll be doing the live intel session tomorrow and uploading that to the youtube channel and uh and yeah congratulations to all the you winners said that, you said that goggle shop sold out i don't know that's what someone said yeah no i i was able to get five of them oh nice dude all right well if the goggle shop sold out here come the headbands wait, uh, wait i or did you i don't think that you ever made them live did you make them live i don't remember Oh, that your voice! Your your voice was just there's like a pin poking me in my eardrum. You just it's just used... been well. It's I've had the the site up and it's been saying unavailable. Oh, uh, whoops! Sorry, Ryan. Oh, so I guess they have you now. Troy Gregory got one. Yeah, and I was able to get five. All so right, if you guys. Mightier. If you guys want to get them for me, okay. Yes, yeah, Swap Fox fifteen hundred a piece. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll also, I have a couple extra, so I'm going to be doing some giveaways on the next show and, uh, and later also there are some Easter eggs hidden around, uh, the show to show you guys, um, what other straps might be coming out Ooh. Uh, a little later here. I think there's one right here somewhere right there. Dude, look at this is behind the scenes or me. It's right here. This is what makes it all happen right here. Roman. He's wow. just like, he's on, every time you come over there, he's on his phone. Yeah, that's why I pay him the big bucks. He's doing research. This, this doing new market research. This new headband is called the Pen Island. The, it's called the Pen Fifteen Club. Yeah. <laughs> the pen is mightier than than the, than the sword, Cal. Out of anyone, you should know that these days. <laughs> you do, man. You, be, you become a great coach. Thank you. I love it. You're a great paintball mind. Yeah. You got you need to come back, dude, so you don't have to think anymore. You can just we'll, we'll dumb it down for you and you're just going to feast, bro. All right. Wait, hey, I so like did you already... get to play? No thinking, you're just going to play. All dude, right. He tells me that all, all the time too. Um, hey, so uh did the bands already go live? Hey, we can hear you. This is a children's show, man. Yeah. This is a show's for kids. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a children's show. We're working show. out a deal with Disney. You could stop. Maybe maybe you could say it's a family show, but a children's show, I think not. <laughs> It's for all okay, audiences. You're making me hold my phone upside down. Okay, well, I'm not making you do anything. So, uh, did the headbands already go live? I think so. Uh, it said. Well, I'm looking at it, and it said it's been saying unavailable. Did anybody get a uh, a headband? Oh yeah, they sold out. Okay, Adam oh, they Reeves did. got one of each. Congrats to Adam Reeves. You're gonna get uh, an air <laughs> horn. No, Adam Reeves, you're not allowed to do that, Schmock. He said he got. One of each. Uh-oh. Oh, a, a goggle strap and a headband. Yeah. Got it. Okay, not two headbands. No. <laughs> well, Dude, I, I just got I a text. Know. Text is, someone said it was a great show tonight. Awesome. All right. Sorry, Adam Reeves, if I just outed you. <laughs> no, you're good, bro. Okay, he's good. All right, well, hey, again, big uh, big appreciation to everybody who uh, who tuned in today, everybody who's a supporter of the show. We really appreciate that. Uh, for all you super mega support status members, make sure we have your addresses uh, for everybody who's out there, we need your addresses. I've been going through a list of uh, of the supporters who have been with us for over a year. Edwin Multer, Brandon Dillon, uh, the Daddy Mac 90, Rick Williams, Edward Trogdon, Steve Hernandez, Eric Federson, Eric Goff, New York Fearful, 
we don't have your addresses and you guys have been supporting the show for uh for well over a year that's 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 a list of very confused people <laughs> thanks they're also some of our top supporters and we do appreciate them no matter how confused they may or may not be um <laughs> Wait, sorry, just to... Alex Frazier's views and opinions do not reflect opinions and views of the Spick and Span show. <laughs> just to and clarify, it's not the Spick and Span and Egg show. Just to clarify, you did drop the headbands, also, right? They just sold out already. They're gone. Yeah, okay, they're gone. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All oh, right, no, YJ. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you on Wednesday at 4 p.m. next week. Wednesday. That's why you got to do these. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tuesday. Wednesday. I'm yeah, what is this guy? Do it again. Do it again. Roll it over. Roll tape. Roll tape. We'll see it. you guys next week, Tuesday, live on the best YouTube show, live at 4 p.m. on Tuesdays ever of all time with some more juicy news. Booyah! Remember why? Remember why? Fire consumed, ashes remain.